I'm Mr. Grinler, and here are my creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinler's Creatures. But on today's episode, we are going to be rehousing a... I think it's called a Soretta... I'm going to have to read it off of this. But the... Well, it's a female Soretta, Soretagurus, Soretagurus Sanderi, and it's the Nab, Namibium horn baboon. Nab, Namibium. Yeah. None so, of that is easy. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I've probably butchered the whole of that, but Soretagurus Sanderi, Namibium horn baboon. So, we're doing an old world today, horn baboon. And uh, this is one that we probably should have rehoused a while ago, if I'm honest. And we've kept it in the tub that we actually bought it from. And we got this a long time ago, actually. So this is from Trench as Wild and Tame. Once again, if you're in the UK and you see their store at one of the invert shows, go and check it out because they have awesome tarantulas. Also, sorry if you can hear shouting, it's next door. They always shout when we're recording. But yeah, it's a female. Oh, proper shouting. It's a female and uh, she is eager to come out. She's just at the, the bottom of the enclosure, well, the top of the enclosure, just see it. So yeah, she has been kept inside an enclosure just like this. And recently she's molted and we managed to get some feed and footage which we'll chuck into this video as well. But now that she's molted and she's hardened up and she's been fed a little bit. <laughs> going on? There is so much shouting. Is there a lawnmower outside as well? Or a yeah, there's a lawnmower, there's a strimmer, there's, there's everything. everything going on. <laughs> but yeah, we should have rehoused this a long time ago. But now that she's molted, now that she's fed up, it is now time to get her out of this enclosure and to rehouse her into a more appropriate enclosure. So these are old world fossorial tarantulas. They do pretty good terrestrial slash fossorial as well because, uh, you know, they like to have a bit of room to roam around and web up just like you'll see when we take this off. So we're going to be... What is going on? <laughs> Honestly, what is going on? There's a few chaos. Yeah. All right. So we're going to be rehousing it into one of these enclosures. I don't even know if the camera's <laughs> going to pick this up, but... It sounds brutal next door. Anyway, let's power through this. So yeah, we're going to be using one of these trench room enclosures. And I was hoping to use one of the smaller ones for this, one of the thinner ones. Because, um, you know, it's not a very big tarantula at the minute. But I've misplaced them and I can't find them. I know I've got them somewhere, whether they're up in the loft or out in the garden. Um, I'm going to have to have a look. But for now, we're going to be rehousing it into these because uh, we have got plenty of these to use. And to be honest, we don't have a great deal of many fossorial tarantulas. Well, we do, but we sort of do like a semi-terrestrial yeah. setup. But anyway, enough talking. Let's uh, grab the camera. Let's go down to the table. Let's have a look at this Soretagias sanderi. The, what is it? The Nabimbium horn baboon. So yeah, let's go down. All right, so Charlotte's gonna take the lead with this one. And uh, here is the Namimbium <laughs> horn baboon. Let's have a little look at this. The shouting is still going on as well. Sorry, dude. Well, so you'll be able to see her just down there and you can see what I mean about the size and what I mean about how you know they like a bit of terrestrial space and um, just so they can web out these are awesome webbers and I think using this enclosure just there you know as Charlotte's displaying it it would be a great choice because not only has it got the depth it's also got a bit of space on top where we can you know sort of construct something just so it can chill above ground where it will have a water dish as well and then it can retreat deep down in its burrow so yeah fingers crossed this is going to go all right so we're going to try and get it in the catch cut first and um, just so that eliminates that and then we're going to design the tank and then get her in so are you ready charlotte not really no <laughs> yeah not today yeah well you got no choice let's do it ready yeah. Oh. Today we're sponsored by the screaming kids next door. It's nice and easy. We have uh, 
had the Soretagias. Ah, oh, what was it? What? Which one was it? It was the one that doesn't have a horn. I can't remember what it was called. I'll remember the name and I'll pull it up down below. But look at that. Absolutely stunning. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? I don't think getting it out will be, though. Maybe not. I have a feeling that it's not going to go right. If we it. construct a sort of like start of our it should should be fine. Go straight in. Yeah, it should go straight in. Well, there you go. There we go. Right, so it is now time to have a look at how we set up this tank. So what we've done is we've just filled it up with topsoil. Now this topsoil is a little bit damp, um, but it will dry out over time. And then obviously we're not gonna make that, that soil damp anymore. Um, we're gonna leave it dry because they're a dry species. Um, you know, they're an old world fossorial from Africa. Uh, sort of explains it all. So yeah, we'll let, the, we'll let the soil dry out for now. It's not gonna be an issue. Obviously we've got some leaf litter in there. We've got some moss as well. But now it is time for Charlotte to get it in. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. Touch his little toes. Yeah, it's on the lid at the minute. But good luck. I need it to go down the other end. I see you prodding it there. Yeah, I touched his little foot. But it, <laughs> it didn't do anything. Oh, that was speedy. <laughs> Yay. Proper speedy. Oh, she's gone down. Or has she gone no. down to the other end there? Yeah, it's now on the lid. Right. I don't know if I can do this one. You can do it. I've got faith in you. Paintbrush isn't long enough. It's not long enough. No. We need to invest in a longer paintbrush. Okay, that's right. It's in the lid. It's one step. Now for the next. Imagine it would just come straight out now. There we go. Look at that. Look, chill as anything. the lid on so nice easy rehouse you know it was very quick maybe a bit too quick that time it was literally straight in and straight out but that sort of brings me on to my next point and that is 
you know, old worlds. Most people, they're like, oh, you know, old worlds are very defensive. I don't want to get one because they're, you know, they're really mental and they're, they're, you know, all they want to do is eat you and kill you. And I guarantee some of these new worlds that they've probably got are worse than some of the old worlds I keep. Some of my old worlds are much more well behaved than some of my new worlds. It's just fact. You know, each tranche is different every time that they molt. And uh, I, I think some people just need to be like, right, I'm going to get one. You know, they got more potent venom. They're more defensive. But some of them are just absolutely beautiful. And a beginner one to me, you know, for me, would be the Monocentropus Balfouri 100%. But anyway, that brings me on to the next part of the video, and that's just showing you a quick little feeding clip that I got for this girl. Might be an extra one added on if I can get one, but you guys would have seen this clip already, and it was in my previous video, so my tarantula feed video. But I'm going to show you again, because she is just absolutely stunning, and it's some really nice macro as well. And just have a look at the colours. You know, they, they give off a really nice sort of golden browny look under cer you know, certain light. And you just shine a camera across it, and it just looks absolutely fantastic and in person it just looks even more like you know wow so have a look at this clip Right, so that's all the footage for today's episode, guys. You know, the shouting's finished uh, in the other house, but <laughs> sorry about that again. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Nice, quick, easy one for you. Massive thank you to Charlotte, as always, for rehousing and, you know, being on the channel. But Mr. Grindler's done here. So is... Charlotte. There you go. <laughs> so if you could like, comment and share, that'd be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. Don't forget guys, down in my description I've got a link for my link tree. It's got all my social medias on there, so it'd be absolutely great if you go check out that link. You know, go follow my other socials, it really helps out. It's free. But that is it. So Mr. Grindler's done here. So is Charlotte. I don't know why. I feel like we've yeah, repeated we've done it that. again. We have done it again. Yeah. But yeah, I'll see you next week guys. Have a great one. You all deserve it. Peace. Bye.